welcome to episode six of Kids Corner. Can you believe it? It's been six episodes already. We miss seeing you in class every single week. We're praying for you and we love you and we can't wait to have you back. For our special treat today, we're gonna have Miss Melissa come and teach us a brand new verse. Hey guys, it's first time. We are going to go over Proverbs 18.10. It's an easy verse, so p try to follow along with me. Proverbs 18.10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. Let's try it again. Proverbs 18.10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. Now that we went over it a couple times, Let's try to leave out some words and try to remember them, okay? Let's go. Proverbs 18:10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. Let's try it one more time. Proverbs 18:10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. I hope you guys can remember those words cuz you guys are very smart. Now we're going to have singing time with Brother Trey, Miss Kiana, and Brother Jacob. Welcome to singing time, boys and girls. I am so glad you're with us today. We're going to start out with a few songs that have some action. So everyone's got to stretch your arms out, get them ready, and we're going to sing. He's my rock, my sword, my shield. Everyone do that with me. He's my rock. My sword, my shield, Brother Jacob's going to give us our chord and we're going to sing this together. Make sure you do the actions along with us. Alright, Brother Jacob. He's my rock, my sword, my shield. He's a hub in the middle of the wheel. He's the fairest of 10,000, the bright and morning star. Makes no difference what folks say. I'm going to get on my knees and pray. I'm going to sing and shout and praise him all day long. That was really good. We're going to do it one more time. See if you can keep up with us. So it goes, he's my rock, my sword, my shield. One more time. He's my rock, my sword, my shield. He's a hub in the middle of the wheel. He's the fairest of 10,000, the bright and morning star. Makes no difference what folks say. I'm going to get on my knees and pray. I'm going to sing and shout and praise him all day long. You guys are doing awesome. We're going to sing one more that has some actions. It's actually one of my favorite songs. We're going to sing with Christ as my vessel. I messed it up with Christ as my vessel. I can smile at the storm. So try that again. See if Brother Trey doesn't mess it up with Christ as my vessel. I can smile at the storm. All right, Brother Jacob, give us another chord, and here we go. Do the actions with us. With Christ as my vessel, I can smile at the storm. Smile at the storm. Smile at the storm. With Christ as my vessel, I can smile at the storm. As we go sailing home. Miss Kiana's got one more song for you. Alrighty, so we're going to be singing a slower song, and it's called Jesus Loves All the Little Children of the World. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in His sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. You guys did so good. Everyone give yourself a pat on the back. But make sure you're still sitting up straight and listening because Brother Painter is going to bring us our Bible lesson for today. Hi kids, welcome to this week's edition of Kids Corner. Uh, before we get into the, the short lesson, we're going to pray and then, uh, then we'll get started. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day, Lord. Thank you for everything you've given us and everything you haven't given us. Lord, just be with us at this time. Uh, just help us listen, open our hearts to you, Lord. Just help us receive your word and, and learn something today. Lord, we love you, and in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today we're going to be in the Bible, and we're going to be in Joshua 1, chapter 1, verse 5. And that says, 
There shall not be any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. I will not fail thee nor forsake thee. So, God will never ne never leave us. He'll, he'll never forsake us. He's always going to be with us. With these uh, uh, weird times that, that's going on, uh, I think we can take comfort in that. It's going gonna, it's gonna to help us and help me uh, just go through the days. I don't know what God has in store for us. Um, I don't know His plans, but... But he will protect us. He will. Uh, he will guide us. Businesses are closed. Your schools closed. All kinds of shops are closed. But God's doors are never closed. Uh, God will uh, always have an open open door for you. You can always pray to Him. You can always talk to Him. You can always read His Bible, His Word, His truth. So make sure you're doing that. Make sure uh, you don't close that door, because uh, God will not. Tell your neighbors about God. You can still share share uh, the good news about God with your neighbors. You can still tell them about salvation. You can tell them about this video and, and the other videos that are on here. And uh, you, you'll be able to point out uh, how to get saved. If you don't have a Bible, you can use these videos. So boys and girls, Brother Carl might not have the answer. I might not have the answer. Pastor doesn't have the answer either. But, but God has the answer. He has our future and, and uh, He knows what's going to happen. He knows what has already happened and uh, He'll make sure that we're safe. We're going to read on in Joshua 1 verse 6. Be strong and of good courage. Kids, now is a good time to be, be strong and of good courage. I know you're young and, uh, and that's okay. We can all be strong and we can all be courageous. We can be brave, and uh, just don't be scared. Be courageous. Uh, God has us in His hands. Um, he will uh, always have us in His hands. Once we're saved, no, no man can pluck us from His hands, and uh, that's what that's what's not going to happen. Nobody's going to take us from Him, and uh, He will never leave us or forsake us. He's always going to be there for us. That might not mean that there there's not going to be rough times. Um, there's going to be tough times. You're not going to have a perfect life after getting saved. Um, just like right now, we're all going through um, some different times, and uh, we're all have our own little struggles, and uh, we just got to put our trust and faith in God. We have to make sure we rely on Him and, and not, not other people and, and not things um, of this world. But we need to, to pray. We need to, to pray now. Now would be... A great time to, to pray without ceasing, to uh, read our Bibles, take the time that we have, the extra time, to, to enjoy uh, God's Word and uh, to get something from it. And like I've said in the past, you don't have to read the whole Bible at once. You can just read a couple verses or a chapter or uh, uh, just, just anything, a couple words. Just make sure you're reading it. Make sure you're, you're getting into it. I have honestly been praying for you guys, and uh, I love you guys, and we miss you. We, uh, we can't wait to see you guys again in, in class, and uh, we'll just continue praying until, until uh, we get to see you again, and we love you. Hey, boys and girls, thank you so much for watching, and Brother Richard, thank you for that message that you just gave to us about trusting in God. It's a very important that we trust in God. You know, I want to tell you a story how one time I, I trusted in God. When I was eight years old, I was at a summer camp. And during that, summer, during that time at summer camp, a preacher got up and spoke about hell. And he said, he told us that people that don't, that don't accept Christ as their Savior or don't ask Jesus Christ to come into their heart, they have to go to a place called hell. And he preached about hell and he preached about the, the, the terribleness of hell. And you know what, I don't remember much of that sermon, but I, what I do remember is, I didn't want to go to hell. And you know, the truth is, boys and girls, we don't have to go there. You know, the truth is, God loves us so much that He sent His only begotten Son, Jesus, to die on the cross for our sins. And today, if you don't know for sure that you're going to heaven, 
I want to share with you just a couple points from the Bible, from God's Word. And we know that God cannot lie. And number one, we must realize that we're all sinners. The Bible tells us in Romans 3 and verse 23, For all have sinned. Boys and girls, listen, each one of us are sinners. Brother Carl does wrong. Uh, Brother Rich does wrong. And you know what? The Bible tells us that we're all sinners. And the Bible also tells us in Romans 3 and verse 23, and come, we come short of the glory of God. God is perfect. And because of our sin, we can't have fellowship with God. We can't be around God. We can't be around God. But the good news is that because God sent His only Son, Jesus, to die on the cross for our sins, we can one day go to heaven. And boy, that's good news. Number two, we must realize that there's a, pi there's a price for our sin, a penalty. And the Bible says in Romans 6 and verse 23, for the wages of sin is death. You know, because of the things that we do wrong, boys and girls, the Bible says that we deserve death. When, when the Bible talks about death, it talks about separation from God. And boy, you know what? I don't want to be separated from God. I don't know about you, boys and girls, but I want to be where God is, and that's heaven. But because of our sin, the Bible tells us that we don't deserve to go to heaven. If you look here in the further in the verse, the Bible tells us, in Romans 3.23, but the gift of God is eternal life. We don't have much time to go to tell the story about how Christ died on the cross. But listen, Jesus Christ paid the price for our sin because we couldn't. He paid, a, he paid the price that he did not owe, but we, but we could not pay. And boys and girls, listen, if no one's ever taken a Bible or they've never shown you, if they've never told you how you can go to heaven... Boy, I want you to listen very close, and we're almost done. So number one, we're all sinners. Secondly, there's a price for our sin. Thirdly, the Bible says in Romans, and this is my favorite verse in the entire Bible. The Bible says in Romans 10, 13, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That means anybody. That means the person all the way in Africa or the person in China or the person in Zimbabwe. If they put their faith in Jesus Christ, then they too can go to heaven. The Bible says this in Romans chapter 5 and, and verse number 8. But God commended his love towards us in that while you're yet sinners, Christ died for us. And listen, boys and girls, if you never ask Jesus Christ to come into your heart, don't wait any longer because the Bible tells us that we don't know when God is going to give us our, take our last breath from us. And boys and girls, if you haven't trusted Jesus Christ, in just a few seconds, I'm going to pray a prayer. But the good news is a prayer can't take you to heaven. Being a good person can't take you to heaven. Going to church, even though it's important, and being a good person is important. But the only thing that can take us to heaven is putting our faith in Jesus Christ. And so what I want to do right now is I want to pray a prayer. It's a very simple prayer. And if you have not asked Jesus Christ to come into your heart, repeat the words after me. But remember, to talk to Jesus. Don't do it because Brother Carl is praying. Don't pray because you, because you want to pray. You, we're praying now because we want to, if you have never asked Jesus Christ to come into your heart, we're now asking him to do that. So I'm going to bow my heads and I'm going to close my eyes. And you do the same wherever you're at. And repeat these words after me. Remember, it's not the words, but it's what we trust in our heart. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner, and I know that you died for me. Lord, please come to my heart and save me now. I'm trusting in you, and only in you, to take me to heaven. Amen. Hey, listen, if you prayed that prayer for the first time, tell somebody. Let us be rejoiced with you. Listen. Tell your bus workers, tell your bus captains, tell your parents. Listen, tell somebody. Because we want to be we want to we want to be happy for you. We want to rejoice. We want to thank God. Anyways, hey, I can't wait to talk to you next week. We love you. We're praying for you. See you later.